Hello, this is Will with RCBS, and today we'll be reviewing some of the frequently asked questions regarding the RCBS Matchmaster Powder Dispenser. In this video today, we'll be covering how to adjust and create customized powder dispense parameters with the Matchmaster Dispenser. Even though the Matchmaster is pre-programmed with four different powder profiles, we know that hand loaders like to get the most performance out of the reloading equipment as possible. So with that in mind, we've made the Matchmaster extremely easy for the hand loader to set custom profiles for their desired powder setting so that they can maximize the performance of the Matchmaster. You can create and update custom profiles in two ways. The first is through the dispenser itself, and the second is with the RCBS reloading app, which we'll cover in a separate video. The Matchmaster gives the reloader the ability to create 15 different user-defined powder profiles. But before discussing how to set these user-defined powder parameters, there's some key notes to discuss. The first thing, the user-defined powder parameters will only be saved once the go button is pressed after the last parameter, this is the I parameter, is entered. Test will appear on the display, which allows the user to step through the recently set parameters. This is a great function. However, we are going to cover that in a later video. To continue without running the step test process, you press cancel to continue without testing. Now you're ready to dispense with your custom set parameters. Second, at any time during the process, you can press the cancel key to exit without saving any parameters that you entered. And third, once you set your user-defined parameter, you cannot switch between standard and match mode from the mode screen for that specific profile. This is because the dispense mode is one of the selected parameters in that profile. So to change the mode, you would have to go into the user-defined configuration for that profile and change the B parameter. With those three things in mind, we are ready to start the process of creating custom powder dispense parameters. So the first thing you do is you hit your mode and then you scroll through to where it says powder and hit go. This will take you to the screen that allows you to input which slot in the unit you want your powder profile saved under. You have the available slots from 0, 06 to 20. To choose a slot, type in the two-digit number you want to use. Important note, if you use a slot you have already used, you will overwrite that information. So be sure to keep detailed notes in your reloading journal for each parameter setting you have already set up a powder profile for. So after you set go, I'm just gonna use my user six, I've already played with it. So go, you'll see the A. This is where you input the powder size, one through four. One for your large and heavy powders, four for your small light powders. Once you input this number, you press go again. Next, you'll see a B. In this screen, this is where you input standard or match mode. Zero equals match mode, one equals standard mode. You type in the appropriate number for your desired mode and press go. The next screen is the C screen. This is where you type in your units of measure. You use either grams or grains. Zero equals grams, one equals grains. Insert your desired setting and press go. We've got one on this one for grains. So these first three parameters will be preloaded to the default parameters for the recommended for the remaining parameters E through I to be used as reference. Uh, actually, I'm gonna cancel out of this guys and I'm gonna go back and go to mode, powder, Let's look at 08. We haven't messed with this one yet. So you got A1. We want one, so B0. So we want grains. So if you look on this screen now, this D value, you can see all the default parameters for the, uh, for the powder profile one are on the left-hand side, so that 2-2. Two, two. On the right-hand side is where you will enter your parameters. So the next screen, this is where you set the minimum operation value of the large tube. This is called the D value. If the target weight of, if your target charge weight is greater or equal to the D value, the large tube will rotate. If the target weight is less than the D, the large tube will trickle or not be used at all. Your D value will normally not need to be adjusted from the default settings. This is, of course, unless the weight is approximately 22 grains or less and is equal to or up to two units greater than D when D equals 22. So this condition can cause an overcharge condition with certain powders. If this happens, 
increase the D parameter to one over the target weight. Input your desired number and press go. So we're gonna input a 22, keep that default parameter. All right, so in the next screen, this is your E screen, your E parameter. E is the expected large tube stop point. So this controls when the large tube stops from the target weight. So each division represents a half of a grain with a range of one through 99. So the example, if you want your E value equals five, then your large tube will stop at two and a half grains from target. So your math works like this. You have five is your setting times half of a grain, which equals two and a half grains. If you want your large tube to stop two grains away, then you would set it to four. If you want your large tube to stop eight grains away, then you would set that, that E value to 16. So important note, even if you have the stop point at our example of two and a half grains from your target, there's still a lot of momentum of the powder in the tube that will carry over to those kernels that are spinning and dispense more powder than the desired two and a half grains from the target. You'll actually end up closer to your target weight than that two and a half grains. So you need to be aware of this when setting the stop point and plan accordingly. You can go through and adjust that variable through the test process to get that large tube to stop where you want to. Uh, but however, this carryover, this setting that where that tube stops and those tubes will still be spinning will also be the same when you're setting your E value, your F value, and your H values. So input your desired number and go. I'm gonna get a little creative here and we're gonna go for that five so it stops at two and a half grains away from the target. So five, enter. F, so your F value is your expected small tube stop point. This is where the small tube will stop its constant rotation and start its long trickle mode. The smaller the number, means the small tube will be expected to stop near the target weight and not trickle as long. Each division in the range represents two hundredths of a grain. And on this one, the range is zero to 99. Example, we want the long trickle operation to start a half of grain away from our target weight. So we would set F equals 25. 25 times two hundredths of a grain is equal to half of a grain. The small tube long trickle operation will start at half a grain. So input your desired number and press go. So we're going for a 25. All right. The G value. G is the rotation and response time for the long trickle operation. You actually have two inputs that are needed for the G value. You have your G1, which is the, the first digit and your G2 value, which is the second digit. Your first number being that G1 controls the rotation time for the long trickle. So this rotation time is the time of rotation before the tube stops. It has a range of zero to nine, where zero equals 100 milliseconds and nine equals 1,000 milliseconds. Remember, the smaller the G1, the least amount of powder is going to be released from the tube as it is not rotating very long and only allowing small amounts of powder to come out. Your G2 controls the response time between the stop and start of the rotation range, which that range is zero to nine, where zero equals 250 milliseconds and nine equals 2,500 milliseconds. The shorter this response time, the quicker the small tube will restart to rotate between stops. For the fastest dispense time, the parameter would equal 90 where you have the maximum time of rotation and the minimum response time. This setting would reduce your overall dispense time due to the long rotation value of nine, which is the max rotation time, allowing for more powder to dispense. For the slowest dispense time, the parameter entered would be zero nine, where you have the minimum time of rotation and the maximum response time. So once you have determined which setting works best for you, Input the setting and press go. So we've got a 33 right now. Uh, I want to make it just a little bit, uh, I'm going to change it up a little bit. We're actually going to put about, a, let's try a one and a five. All right. So the H value. The H is the setting where you control where the long trickle operation stops and the short trickle operation starts. Each division in this range equals another 0 0.02 grains. And you have a range from one to 99. Example, you want the short trickle to start at 0.10 grains from the target, you would have H equals five. 
five times 0 0.02 grains equals a one tenth of a grain or 0 0.1 grains. All right, so let's set that to a five. All right, now I. I is the last variable that can be controlled and it controls the small tube short trickle operation. I1 controls the time of rotation before stop. You have a zero to nine range where zero equals 25 milliseconds and nine equals 250 milliseconds. The key takeaway to remember for I1 is that the smaller the I value, the fewest kernels will be dropped and it is not actively rotating very long. I2 controls the response time between stop and start of the rotation with a zero to nine range, where zero equals 250 milliseconds and nine equals 2,500 milliseconds. The key takeaway for I2 value is the smaller the I2 value, the quicker the small tube will start to trickle again. So for the fastest slow trickle, we would input a nine zero, maximum time of rotation and minimum response time. For the slowest dispense, we would input a zero nine, for minimum time of rotation and maximum response time. So I1, I2. The I1 value is rotation for short trickle. I2 is the rotation response time for short trickle. All right, so we're gonna keep it as the default to one four and hit go. So once you've ran through the parameters and press go, your user defined parameters will be saved and you will enter test mode. You see it says test on the screen. This allows you to run a test and step through parameters E through I which you're able to check each one of those parameters independently to see if it has the, uh, the correct setting for you. But we're gonna cover that in a different video. So to bypass this step, if you just wanna start running powder, you simply press the cancel button. And now you have your user eight, I hit the button. Now you have the user eight profile saved in your unit. So you're ready to use your custom profile. So let's check out how these custom profiles work. Of the four factory presets, Dispense speed one works the best with the powder that I'm using now. So let me click in, I was breathing on the unit, one powder. So dispense speed one, we're gonna do 38 and a half grains for just the testing today. Then I'm gonna hit start and go at the same time. All right, so you guys are able to see how just that custom parameter works and we'll be able to test it against the other two that I've created. So if you can see the, the stop points on the big tube and little tube have been uh, fairly conservative. Just allows you to make sure that uh, we've got dispense tubes that work for most powders on the market. All right, we're getting close. All right, so that one turned at 47.25 seconds and it was right at 38 and a half grains, so right at the target. But it was 47 seconds, and I know with, with the technology in this thing that we can improve upon that. So I'm gonna hit cancel. And I've got a powder profile set here. So with this powder profile, I modified a few parameters and I've been able to work up a custom profile for this type that significantly improves the dispense time that I'm gonna show you now. Uh, one thing to notice on this particular profile is that I program it so you can still see those stop points for all the tubes. Uh, the new, new profile reduces the, uh, the throwing time by 15, 20 seconds over that. So I got uh, six powder. I'm gonna run another 38 and a half grains. So you can see those and we're ready to go. All right, so let's see this unit thrown in now. So as you can see, those stop points are considerably different. All right, we were at 32 seconds. All right, guys, so this last uh, dispense speed that I'm gonna show you, this is one that is the quickest profile that I've made for this particular powder. And it's been optimized for most of those stop points. 
to get this type of performance, you'll likely have to try a few different parameters when you're trying to optimize those stop points and response rates. So let's try that 38 and a half grains. And we're gonna hit go and start, start timing it. All right, 19.1 seconds at 38.50. So as you can see, if you put forth the put forth a little bit of time to mess with those parameters, you can really squeeze out the most precision and speed out of the Matchmaster dispenser. So this covers how to adjust and create customized powder dispense parameters. To find out more information on the RCBS Matchmaster powder dispenser and all RCBS products, go to rcbs.com and be sure to follow us on all the various social media platforms.